Hello everyone, my name is Andre Molina and this is my informative speech for my Intro to Communication Class 107. I'm going to start with a story. I was 17 and I worked at T-Mobile, Wireless Resources, just a little kiosk in the mall. Basically my job was to harass people on a day-to-day -day basis, try to get them to switch wireless plans. Uh, maybe just change their phone or pick up a new line, you know, all kinds of different speeches and slogans that, uh, you know, we were trained to give to the people, although the real message was, your cell phone's crap, my cell phone's good, you should buy it. Uh, one day, my boss, who never, ever shows his face in public, comes into the store, and uh, he wants to introduce himself to the new people, it was me and another salesman at the time, and I had a nice button-down shirt on and a nice tie. And he came right up to me and he was like, what's going on? What are you wearing? And I was like, uh, nothing. You know, normal tie and suit. just want to look presentable. And he's like, no, your tie is all wrong. So he taught me something that I'm going to teach you guys now. It's called the power tie. First you're going to button up your shirt, like so. Always make sure your collar is popped for the ladies. Just kidding. <clears throat> Normally when people tie their tie, they like to do it sort of quick, you know what I mean? The standard two wraps around, up and through. Time wise it's effective, it only takes about three seconds to do. But somehow, you end up with this little knot. And I call it little because there's, you know, almost three fingers of space between your collar and the knot. My boss would call that a weak, or my ex-boss would call that a weak tie. A weak tie gives a weak impression, a less dominant impression. And when you're trying to make sales, you want to come off as strong, someone who can provide another person with a service. So he showed me the power tie. Again, make sure the collar's popped. This time, you're going to do one wrap around and immediately come up through the middle. I know that sounds a little tricky because how can you put the tie through? It doesn't make any sense. Well, now you're going to come around the other side. and back up through. Now, that's a big knot. Pull your tie through. And I know what you're thinking. The tie's hanging a little high there. But look at that knot. That is power. And in a business where you can't afford to be the weak man, you need yourself a power knot. 